Appearing seemingly out of nowhere, the deadly SARS epidemic of 2003 killed nearly 800 people around the world, including 44 in Toronto, where hospitals were overwhelmed by the highly contagious virus. But SARS was just a practice run for what experts fear could be looming. Ebola, equine fever, avian flu, smallpox. SARS became, in effect, a dry run for far worse. Isolating and quarantining those infected with a virus like SARS is key to keeping the threat from spreading and killing others. But most cities aren't equipped with enough special quarantine facilities to contain an outbreak of SARS or anything with even more deadly potential. This new isolation system will be on the front line of any serious outbreaks of contagious disease. It's the latest bit of high-tech kit for the medical team sent to control an outbreak. The key to this system is that it's a highly mobile and ready-to-use portable isolation unit. Medical teams are able to enter the tent through the airlock to treat the patient. Deadly airborne threats are kept inside the isolation tent with a negative pressure environment. Outside air is pulled into the tent and on its way out it's decontaminated, filtered and hit with UV light killing any potential viruses and bacteria. Ultraviolet uh, system that is within the power and filtration system here uh, is uh, in order to kill the culture of germs that accumulates on the HEPA filters like uh, viruses as for example SARS or smallpox or the uh, tuberculosis uh, microbacteria. In the case of an outbreak or biological attack, these portable isolation tents can be airshipped to where they're needed, set up and be operational in a matter of hours. You can bring from other cities or, or from a national stockpile a number of units and, and help the, the most difficult uh, situation which is containment. Uh, in, in an outbreak with a contagious disease. The ISOARC is one more weapon in the war to contain the outbreak of highly contagious disease, an invisible threat that can strike anywhere in the world at any time.